Hello friends, this is Adam Shoemaker, rector here at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina. Happy Friday, we've made it through another week. I'm here to pray with you using the words of Psalm number 135 as we continue to pray our way through the Psalms here at St. Stephen's. And Psalm number 135 begins on page 788 in the Book of Common Prayer, and I invite you to follow along if you have a prayer book or Bible handy. Hallelujah! Praise the name of the Lord. Give praise, you servants of the Lord. You who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God, Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises to his name, for it is lovely. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. The Lord does whatever pleases him, in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all the deeps. He brings up rain clouds from the ends of the earth. He sends out lightning with the rain and brings the winds out of his storehouse. It was he who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, the firstborn both of man and beast. He sent signs and wonders into the midst of you, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. He overthrew many nations and put mighty kings to death. Sion, king of the Amorites, and Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He gave their land to be an inheritance, an inheritance for Israel, his people. O Lord, your name is everlasting. Your renown, O Lord, endures from age to age. For the Lord gives his people justice and shows compassion to his servants. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. Eyes have they, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. Neither is there any breath in their mouth. Those who make them are like them, and so are all who put their trust in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel, O house of Aaron, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. You who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, who dwells in Jerusalem. Alleluia. You know, this psalm of praise to God calls to mind an old saying by Bishop Barbara Harris, the first female bishop in the Anglican Communion who was ordained in my sponsoring diocese of Massachusetts in the late 1980s. Barbara Harris often used to say that we are called to be Easter people in this Good Friday world of ours. We are called to be Easter people in this Good Friday world of ours. Meaning, we are called to be people of hope. Amid all the challenges, all of the hardships, all of the obstacles in our way, we are called to be people of hope. People who put our trust in God, who is sovereign, who ultimately has the power to redeem every human circumstance, every human life. And so as we close out this week and continue our journey during these strange and difficult times, let us continue to hold on to our Easter faith amid all the Good Friday realities around us. Let us continue to choose hope and put our trust in God, and the God who we have come to know in Jesus. 
I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you stay safe and well. We will be back on Monday with Psalm number 136. In the meantime, wear your mask and you keep the faith.